Chapter 200 Five Years in the Blink of an Eye In the middle of the Powage One Hall, listening to Zhu Wuin's words, Are you Shui Yu raised his eyebrows and laughed coldly. Others might be concerned about Zhu Wuin, but he didn't care if it wasn't for the fact that Zhu Wuin had always treated him with courtesy and respect. He would have long wanted to teach this arrogant fellow a lesson. Regarding the identity of Zhu Wuin, as the law enforcement elder's named disciple, although the law enforcement elder had acquiesced. But Are Yu Shui Liu didn't care at all. He and his elder brother and second elder brother had never put Zhu Wuin in their eyes. Looking at Ru Shui Liu's icy gaze, Zhu Wuin's eyebrows twitched, but he eventually lowered his head and said with a respectful face, Elder brother is joking, Wuin wouldn't dare. In the heavenly Tao sect, the strongest was honored. He had to bow his head if he wasn't as good as Ruishu Yu. Those surrounding law enforcement disciples did not look down on Zhu Wuin because of this. Because they knew clearly that when facing the personal disciple of the law enforcement elder, no one would dare to be reckless. Didn't they see that no one dared to speak up? Even though there were so many law enforcement disciples in the main hall right now, Kang Tian in the crowd couldn't help but sigh, really. This cultivation world is still the stronger style. If today he is not the disciple of the law enforcement elder, I am afraid that he is also the same as those outer disciples, doing chores under the door of some inner disciples and true disciples. Seeing the strong third senior brother, a motivation that even he himself was not clear about surfaced in his heart. HMPH. Ruishi Liu snorted coldly at his words. His icy gaze once again looked at that Li Yun, and he said morosely, according to the rules of the heavenly Tao sect, slandering the master behind his back shall result in the abolition of his cultivation and his expulsion from the heavenly Tao sect. The surrounding crowd couldn't help but look at Li Yun sympathetically. Everyone's face was filled with sighs. Who let you the hell talk bad about people behind their backs? Now you're out of luck. Li Yun, who was standing next to Zhu Wu Sheng, immediately trembled. Looking hopefully to the side of his good friend, Zhu Wu Sheng, his eyes filled with pleading. He didn't beg for mercy from Riverside because he knew that it was useless. Are you Shui Yu looked at this scene with a cold smile? He would like to see if Zhu Wu Sheng dared to resist him. Don't think that a bit of talent is terrific. In this dark gold peak, in addition to the law enforcement elders, they are the masters of the masters and brothers. This time, he was not only taking the heat for Kang Chion, but also taking the opportunity to establish his authority. Zhu Wuin secretly clenched his fists. The colors in his eyes constantly shifted, and finally he looked towards elderly, who was cultivating with his eyes closed not far away, his eyes filled with pleading, and he transmitted his voice. Elderly, although Wu Wen knows that he's not qualified to ask for your help, he still hopes that you can help me out this time, and Wu Wen is grateful for it. Zhu Wu Wen finished speaking with great helplessness in his heart. This was the first time he had ever spoken to someone in such a low voice, but who let him be in a lesser position than rivers of water. He could only request Elderly. He knew that Elderly had always wanted to accept him as a disciple. So he preserved a glimmer of hope. Elder Lee, who was not far away and had his eyes closed, sighed softly at his words. Ruo Shoru's arrival was naturally noticed by him, and he also secretly used his divine thoughts to watch everything inside the main hall. Rushi current teaching a law enforcement disciple, he naturally would not be nosy, not to mention that it was none of his business, so he was too lazy to pay attention to it. However, since Zhu Wuin had begged him in such a low voice, elderly, after secretly sighing, still decided to help Zhu Wuin this once, to see if this brat was still saved or not. So it's Junior who's here. I just traveled too much in my mind for a while. I didn't realize that you're here. I won't blame me, right? Elderly smilingly walked over, that look as if he really didn't realize that Ruo Shui current had arrived. Ruishui Liu couldn't help but frowned slightly. Could it be that Elder Li was going to stand up for Zhu Wuin? 
If that was the case, he really had to give Elder Lee face. After all, Elder Lee was the elder who was going to be sealed soon. Although he was a disciple of the law enforcement elder, he was still not as good as Elder Lee in terms of status, so he naturally had to maintain respect. Elder Lee's joking. The kid only broke through the out-of-body stage not long ago. This is not to come to the liege one hall to test his cultivation. How can I dare to disturb your old man's divine traveling in the void? Rui Shuiyi respectfully said. Ha <laughs> ha, really the waves of the Yangtze River push forward the waves of the past are. In the blink of an eye, who have broken through the out-of-body stage with your talent, I'm afraid that you will directly seal the king up for the out-of-body stage. It won't be long before you will be able to be promoted to a holy son. Elder Lee sighed in admiration. Then he personally helped Ruishui Liu to arrange for the test. Come and test. I would like to see what level our strongest genius on Dark Gold Peak can reach this time. Elder praised me too much, with eldest brother and second brother here. How would the kid dare to call himself the strongest genius on Dark Gold Peak? Running Water Current said indifferently. Although Elder Lee didn't say it explicitly, he already knew what the other party meant. With their kind of status, there were some things that actually didn't need to be said explicitly. It was just clear in everyone's hearts. Are you sure you coldly swept a glance at Lee Yun, who was still trembling there, and said indifferently, this time, for the sake of Elder Lee's face. I'll spare you this time, next time. If you let me find you chewing on your tongue behind your back again, I'll directly abolish you. The out-of-body stage powerhouse called Lee Yun was instantly as if he had been pardoned and hurriedly nodded his head and saluted. Yes, yes, yes. I won't dare to do it again next time. After saying that, he lowered his head and was about to leave fearing that Riverside Current would regret it. However, Ruishui Liu gave a cold shout and said, Stop! Did I let you go? That Li Yun instantly stopped his body, with a tense face and pleading eyes looking towards Zhu Wuin. Zhu Wuin frowned and finally looked at Elder Li. However, Elder Li gently shook his head, believing that since Rivers of Water had decided to spare this person, he would not regret it again. Just as that Lee Yun was apprehensive in his heart, Ruishui Current's icy voice came out. Didn't you suspect my senior brother of taking a forbidden drug? Now you'll watch with wide eyes and see if my senior brother has taken the forbidden medicine or not. Don't let people think that I, are you Shui Liu, I am bullying people. After are you Shui Liu said that, his eyes looked towards Kang Chon in the middle of the crowd and a hint of a smile appeared on his face as he said, Junior brother, you've been watching the action for so long, so you should come out as well. As the words fell, the crowd burst into an uproar. The crowd could not help but look at each other in disbelief after half a day. They dared to find out that the law enforcement elder's new personal disciple was amongst them. This is quite a big mess. It was Zhu Wuin who also scanned the crowd with a stunned expression. Elder Lee was also very surprised. His sharp eyes swept the crowd and instantly spotted Kang Chon with his realm. He naturally saw at a glance that Kang Chon was cultivating the law enforcement elder's unique technique, the Nine Revolutions Zhuang Gong. In this heavenly Tao sect, other than the law enforcement elder and his disciples, who else would dare to cultivate the Nine Revolutions Zhuang Gong? Ha <laughs> ha! So the little guy has been hiding here all this time. Even the old man didn't find it. Elder Li said smilingly as he looked at Kang Chon. Kang Chon knew that there was no way to keep a low profile anymore, so he had no choice but to walk out of the crowd. And as he did, the gazes of the surrounding crowd all shot towards him. In this instance, it was as if he was experiencing the attention of all the people once again. Junior brother, you're really low-key, with your status. Where else would you need to queue up to come here to test? Rivers of River smiled as he watched Kang Chon walk towards him with a snarky expression. Third senior brother. Kang Chon's face was filled with bitter smiles. He didn't think that he had waited for so many days in the forged one hall without waiting for the test. But instead, 
He had waited for this third senior brother to come. What a coincidence. Not far away, Zhu Wuin's eyes were fixed on Kang Chon, a trace of jealousy flashing across his complexion. Little Three's right. Little fellow you come to the test in the future directly find the old man. The old man is the first to arrange you. Ha <laughs> ha. Law enforcement elder's personal disciple. This point of privilege is still there. Don't worry. No one dares to say anything. Elderly also said with a smile. Many thanks elderly. Kang Chon sniffed and respectfully bowed. Rushui current then pulled Kang Chon towards the force Juan stone and said with a smile. Senior brother try it out, to be honest. I also want to see just what level of strength you have reached in the Jiden stage. Everyone else in the hall was also filled with anticipation. They all wanted to know how talented this new disciple of the law enforcement elder was, including elderly as well. Aren't you going to try first, third senior brother? Kang Chan said with a smile. I'll try later. In fact, I don't need to try to know that with my cultivation. That only broke through not long ago. I'll at most seal the king at the out-of-body stage. Ruji shook his head and laughed. Kang Tian secretly smacked his lips. Third senior brother was really confident. But it was also right, as the personal disciple of the law enforcement elder. His talent was definitely superb. After thinking about it, Kang Tian came to the force Juan Stone and started the test. Kid, show Kang Chon hegemony blood's strongest combat state. Don't hide anything. Let them see your true strength. Emperor Dan's voice sounded in his mind at this time. Kang Chon was slightly stunned. Then a shocking battle intent erupted in his eyes, as a piercing purple light erupted from his body. At that moment, everyone in the Great Hall was shocked. I've long heard that Junior Brother possesses a special bloodline, and this is the first time I've seen him display the battle state of his special bloodline. I'm really looking forward to it. Rivers of running water looked at this scene, a gaze of awe flickering within his eyes. Special bloodline. There was a gasp of surprise from the crowd in the Great Hall, that Zhu Wuin's face was grim as his fists clenched in his hands. Elder Li was also looking at Kang Chon, who had erupted into his strongest fighting state, with a face full of anticipation. As the blinding light gradually dimmed, Kang Chon, who had long purple hair, had to brilliant purple rays shooting out from his eyes, and his entire body was permeated with a faint purple light. This was the strongest combat state of Kang Chon's overbearing blood. Everyone closed their breaths and watched with wide eyes. After displaying the strongest combat state, Kang Chon's fists clenched tightly and his eyes erupted with a blazing light like the purple lightning bolts asterisk 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 coming out. His figure transformed into a bolt of lightning at this moment, instantly appearing in front of Li Xuanxi before fiercely blasting down with a fist. Boom! An earthly roar resounded. And then the force Zhuan stone erupted with a dazzling light. The piercing light obscured the eyes of the crowd, and the entire force Zhuan hall was filled with a piercing light. Elder Lee squinted his eyes, shocked in his heart. Even he was unable to see clearly the state of the Li Xuan stone at this moment. What was going on? Generally speaking, even if a Jiden stage cultivator's test was invincible, it would be impossible for such an intense light to erupt. At this time, the light above the force Zhuan stone dispersed, and a clear number surfaced on that smooth mirror-like surface, seen by everyone in the hall. 48. When everyone saw this number on the force Juan stone, a sound of pouring cold air resounded within the Great Hall. The entire force Juan Hall was silent and a pin could be heard. Everyone stared at the number displayed on top of the force Juan stone with wide eyes and faces, full of unbelief, everyone's hearts filled with shock. 48 times. What kind of concept was this? 10 times to seal a king, 20 times to seal an emperor, 30 times to be invincible. There were only a handful of people in the entire Heavenly Tao sect who were able to reach 40 times. And as for 48 times, it seemed like I hadn't heard of anyone being able to reach such a level in a certain realm. Everyone in the Great Hall was incomparably shocked. Even that Zhu Wuin, 
who was previously full of arrogance, was trembling at this moment. Unable to believe the facts they were seeing in front of them, the out-of-body stage powerhouse named Lee Yun was even more ashamed. His face was red with shame, and he could not wait to find a hole in the ground to drill down. Today he was completely humiliated and disgraced. Rivers of rivers of water was also shocked, but he was after all a supreme genius. He immediately reacted and said to Kang Chuan with a smile, Junior brother, your talent is really amazing. No wonder Master would make an exception to accept a disciple. Sk, I've been in the Heavenly Tao sect for so long, but I haven't heard of any strong person being able to reach 48 times.